Hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I got a story in front of me by here. Now, hold on to your hats. It's from GB News. Now, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 calm down, calm down. Now, you'd think GB News would be negative about electric vehicles, but this one's positive. Can you believe it? Well, it seems positive to me. Um, so let's have a peek, is it? Let's delve in, have a butchers, see what it's all about. And, you know, I'll tell you, and then you can see if you think it's good or bad. I think it's good. I don't know. Well, maybe the, the Auntie Evie people might not like it. Right, okay. Right, so let's, what's, what's the headline? What's the headline no, after all that waffling? Some, some people don't like my waffling. The video about Richard Hammond, because I didn't get straight to Richard Hammond, some people got annoyed. Oh, they were see oh they were seething. They said, Oh, I disliked your video. I went and pressed it. <laughs> I don't mind if you dislike it, it's absolutely fine. Um anyway, what does this say? I'm gonna waffle a bit more just to annoy the people <laughs> who don't like me getting on with it. I'll I'll get on with it. Right. Electric vehicles could save drivers. £13,000 with two thirds of Britons ready to ditch petrol and diesel. Now, wait, wait, wait. If you're Aunt Evie, wait until I finish the story. You don't get, don't, wait. Listen to the whole story, not just a headline, okay? Um, no, this is from GB News, by the way. <laughs> and it came out today, right. It says two out of three vehicles run by both public and private I'll, st I'll start again. I'll put my teeth in and I'll start again. I'll bring it a bit close as well because my eyeballs can't reach it. Two out of three vehicles run by both public and private companies are ready to go electric this year as the move to net zero gets closer and the cost of fuel reaches unprecedented heights. Now it says by here, data, remember now is data. <laughs> Data from 1.3 million vehicles found that vehicles switching to EVs can reduce the cost uh, and help reduce 2.2 billion gallons of fuel. I'm not saying that right. I'm going to start again, again. <laughs> Data from 1.3 million vehicles found that vehicles switching to EVs can reduce costs and help reduce by 2.2 billion gallons of fuel and save 19 million metric tons of CO2 emissions over the next seven years. Um, so what it is, it's about, it's, it's fleets again, isn't it? <laughs> people are getting annoyed, get annoyed because it's fleets. Um, remember people, fleet cars go into the second hand market. The second hand market for electric cars is doing well. Somebody pointed me into a, oh, somebody yesterday, was he yesterday? They point me in the direction of an article I'll try and put it on screen now, because I can't quite remember. But somebody pointed me to the direction that electric cars, second-hand electric cars, are selling well. Anyway, let's get back to this story, because I can go off on a tangent somewhere else otherwise. Um, out of the fleet cars monitored, 66% are ready to go electric and save money for the organisations and businesses running them. Ooh, nice. Um... The report revealed that by, by going electric, British private and public sector organisations could save roughly £13,279 per vehicle over a seven year period. That's nice, that's nice. If you've got loads of vehicles and you're saving £13,279 per vehicle over a seven year period, say what thousands, thousands of vans, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. And it's on GB News. <laughs> what about the poor old GB News readers who are reading this article? D haven't the GB News writers thought about this? God. They'll be, they'll be an hell of a mess after reading this now, won't they? Right. So it says, This is the equivalent to a saving of 876,000 for a large fleet of 100 vehicles. The report from Geotab detailed. David, Sa David Savage, Vice President of the UK and Ireland at Geotab, said the idea that the UK is not ready for mass EV adoption is a fallacy. Ooh. It says, on the contrary, it's time for British businesses to double down on fleet electrification 
not just for the good of the environment and our collective climate goals, but for the bottom line. Ooh, a visionary CEO, CEO of a business operating a vehicle fleet could effectively pay their own salary by going electric thanks to... I said thanks then. How common is that? I said thanks. <laughs> You've got to remember, I'm from the valleys. Um, thanks to EV financial savings. Ooh, so just think of that. All our money saved by buying electric vehicles. Anyway... If you hate EVs, you're probably going to come in now and tell me the reason why this is wrong or blah, blah, blah. You're going to say, that's a load of rubbish, that story. It doesn't make any sense. And you're probably going to going to mention, um, what's that American, what's that, what's that um, rental company? I can't remember the name now. What is that American company that people keep mentioning all the time because they sold off their Teslas? They're going to mention it. They're going to mention that. I know they are. Go on, I know you want to mention it. Um, they're called. <laughs> I can't remember. Everybody shouting at the screen, telling me what it is. Shout a bit higher, <laughs> Um, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Anyway, if you like this video and the good news from GB News, go on, give it a like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy! Oh,